everyone, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, and we have a new aloe product out that people have been taking a lot of interest in, but there's still a lot of questions in general about aloe. So this video is going to be directed towards answering those questions, so why not start with the toughest ones? What exactly is aloe and is it safe for parrots? So aloe is a succulent plant that has been used for multiple medicinal purposes for more than 5,000 years. Today it's most commonly used in healing burns and sunburns because of its moisturizing and cooling abilities. And that's why it's so great for parrots. It literally soothes and conditions dry skin and feathers. Um, but it's also used on minor wounds, acne, sores, things like that. So the bigger question is, is aloe actually safe for parrots? And yes, it's a big yes. Aloe vera is 100% edible, so you don't have to worry about your bird preening after an aloe bath. And it's also one of the easiest crops to grow and can be done virtually anywhere. So most aloe vera plant species don't even require the use of any pesticides, so that isn't even a concern. Finally, I bring this up because it became a topic of discussion on social media when I posted a video of my Camelot Macaw Comet enjoying his aloe bath a while back, and I wanna make sure that the air is cleared about it, literally. Using an aloe spray bath is not dangerous to your bird's respiratory system. Uh, aloe is very viscous in its composition, and it was suggested at one point that it would be dangerous if inhaled. So in fact, because of its viscous nature, aloe that just kind of prevents it from being a problem. So even after being well diluted with water, which is how we use it in our spray bottles, it's aloe and water, so it's a combination of, it's not just pure aloe. Um, the spray droplets actually fall to the ground because of their weight. It is kind of lingering airborne particles that are problematic to parrots, and that is not happening here. So any droplets that are inhaled from an aloe bath would be stopped in the nasal passages and sneezed out. So just like with a regular water spray bath, have you ever experienced your bird sneeze during one of those? I have. Um, parrots don't drown in mist spray bottle baths. So <laughs> aloe is completely safe, and there's not a vet on the planet that would say otherwise, so feel free to ask yours. So what parrots is aloe for and why would you use it on your own bird? So aloe's main purpose for parrots is for its use as a skin and feather conditioner and it can be alternated with plain water baths. So not every single bath has to be with aloe. You can alternate between just a water bath and an aloe bath. This is especially helpful in the winter months when humidity is low and heaters dry out the air in your home even more. So if your bird has a tendency toward feather destruction, this will help not cure. So aloe is not a cure for feather mutilation, feather destruction, over preening, barbering, anything like that. It, I don't want you guys to look at it as a cure-all. However, dry skin and poor feathering is a reason for some birds to resort to feather destructive behaviors. So if anything, it will help make your bird more comfortable. Uh, so what bird species is aloe best for and are there any that shouldn't be given? I will tell you right now, all bird species will benefit from having their skin and feathers conditioned. This includes the eclectus, whose feathering is a little of different quality, as many of you know, alongside all other parrot species like common cockatoos, greys, amazons, macaws, uh, even toucans, sparrows, ravens, ducks, pigeons, you name it, they can all benefit from an aloe bath. So no, what, no matter what kind of bird you got, this aloe is for your bird. So why Bird Tricks Aloe? Our aloe supplier has rigorous standards for quality. In fact, during the lockdown, they actually canceled one of the orders because they felt a shipment they received was sub quality and they actually turned it away. So this is always a good sign because you know they're losing money whenever they do that and they won't sacrifice quality over a monetary gain. So this is why we source our aloe the way that we do, and the quality of the product comes from choosing the best parts of the plant in processing. So something to keep in mind when you are sourcing aloe, cuts from the innermost part of the leaf and cold pressed will result in the best grade aloe vera gel. The cheaper, lesser aloe products on the market will use the lower quality parts of the plant, and this diminishes the overall quality of the product as with everything else, there will be conscientious manufacturers and greedy ones to choose between. So it all comes down to quality and trust. The ingredients are very basic and all natural. It has aloe made from the inner fillet of the leaf preserved with vitamin C, which is absorbic acid. And then it also has citric acid as a pH regulator. So, and that's derived from sugarcane. And then we also contain uh, xanthium gum and potassium sorbate, which is derived from corn. And it acts as a thickening agent and stabilizer. 
So our aloe does have a shelf life. We recommend that you use it within six months of receiving it and you store it in the coldest place of the fridge, typically in the back, and this will help extend the life of the aloe. There's no need to warm it up before spraying your birds, so it'll be landing on the bird's feathers and they likely won't notice the temperature. And so you could also freeze it for later use if you really want to extend the life. We recommend that you dispose of any unused aloe vera juice after about six months from the date of delivery, or if you see it changing to an amber color, that might've me meant that you left it out somewhere where it really changed temperatures and changed the quality of the aloe. So how do you use it? All you have to do is mix the ingredients to make a spray bath. So your package will arrive with a four ounce bottle of aloe vera gel and a 16 ounce bottle uh, spray bottle that looks like this. So you're simply gonna pour the contents of the aloe bottle into the spray bottle and fill it to just below the top with water. Be sure to shake it well before using it because that will really blend the ingredients. I'd love to be able to tell you how many baths you're gonna get out, out of each bottle, but it's just not possible. It entirely depends on how many birds you have, their size, how often they choose to use it. Uh, some birds like to be soaked to the bone, like my macaws, <laughs> while others are more delicate bathing experience, like an eclectus I'm currently working with. So my experience is I could go through an entire bottle on one bird if I really, really wanted to, but I usually do a soak down of multiple birds with this. So it'll really depend on how gung-ho you are about this, but keep in mind, like I said earlier in the video, you do not have to use this for every single spray bath. So you might be wondering, how often should I bathe my bird with aloe? So while giving your bird an aloe bath every day is perfectly safe, we recommend alternating between those baths and plain water baths. This just gives your bird kind of ample time to preen and work the aloe into the feathers and skin and prevents any possible buildup. So aloe is not necessarily better than water. It's used in conjunction with water fur. With water fur. Water fur. Anyone know water fur? Perfect. So just to be clear, aloe is not better than water. It's actually used in conjunction with water to add benefits to bathing. So you can feel free to further dilute the aloe with water. The dilution we recommend is what we find to be most beneficial, but there's no harm in adding more water. Distilled water is the best choice if you have mineral heavy water, and this will keep your spray bottle from clogging up. And just keep in mind, there's not a danger of overuse of aloe since there's no toxicity to it. And if you properly dilute aloe with water, it will leave no residue that a parrot might object to. So you're probably wondering, those of you with small birds, can I give my bird a bowl of water to bathe in? Like now what do I do? Can I make it an aloe bath? So you can absolutely let your bird wade in an aloe bath bowl versus using our spray bottle. Um, but you should dilute it with a little extra water because since your bird will be wading in the water in aloe solution, there'll likely be a little bit more residue left on the underside of your bird. So it's not a danger, it's just extra preening work for your bird. For those of you that need help encouraging a fearful bird to bathe with a spray bottle, check out the playlist in the video description for how I train some birds on the spot to enjoy bathing. And as far as where to buy this product, our aloe is available at birdtricks.com and refills are even available by subscription. Those of you wondering why I chose the spray bottle design I did, I didn't want your typical spray bottle that most birds may have probably been punished with in the past. I wanted something that they wouldn't necessarily recognize and that gave off a very light mist. So as you've seen throughout this video of me using this spray bottle, it does. And it gives a little bit of a continuous spray so that your hand doesn't cramp up. But just to demo, it's an incredible light mist, even indoors isn't so uncomfortable that I feel like I just got soaking wet. And it's something that is very easy to train your bird with, and it's not super duper loud. So a lot of those old school spray bottles, you hear them go, <laughs> and this one doesn't do it. How'd you like that impression, by the way? Uh, this one is so nice. So it's very light, it's a very light mist. I honestly tested a lot of spray bottles, you guys. This is my favorite. 